Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. Today, as you remember the towel, I'll be rating the new trying secrets of Wednesday, the 4th of November 2020. Now, obviously, we're kicking um, fresh into November already. Now, if you guys don't know what I do in this series, each week I'll go over the new trying secrets, I uh, go over the perks, what they do, and at the end of the video, I recommend you guys um, one perk you should buy off the shrine for that week. So, yeah, before I get into it, two things. If I had to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that. But lots of time, let's jump right into the shrine. So the first perk is called Balanced Landing. This is nearest teachable perk. So upon landing, start sprinting at 150% of your normal running speed for a maximum of three seconds. Um, obviously, when you land, you have cat-like reflexes to reduce your stagger duration from falls by 75% and muffle your grunts by um, for falling by 100% this obviously causes the exhaustion side effect for a level 1 60 seconds level 2 50 seconds a level 3 40 seconds balanced landing cannot be used when exhausted you do not recover f um, from exhaustion while running and most importantly you do not um, you do not have your stagger reduced when you're exhausted now what do I rate this perk out of 10? Uh, probably a 5 um, I would rate it higher obviously you guys know why because it got nerfed back in December sometime around that and it obviously used to um, have your stagger reduced 75% without, um, while being exhausted which is kind of OP in my opinion not OP but you know kind of broken in that sense but uh, yeah um, I'm kind of happy they nerfed it but it's definitely not as strong as it used to be and it's definitely not the highest, or I should say, the best exhaustion perk anymore. So yeah, that's just completely my opinion, by the way. Let's move on to the uh, second perk. So the second perk is called Corrupt Intervention. This is the Plague's teachable perk. So what this perk does, the three generators located furthest from you at the start of the trial are blocked by the entity for, at level 1, 80 seconds. Level 2, 100 seconds. At level 3, 120 seconds. Obviously, survivors cannot repair the generators while corrupt intervention is active. Now, would I rate this perk out of 10? Probably a 7. 7, yeah, I say 7. I know that may seem a bit overrated, but I generally think this perk is good. I use it on Pig, uh, Trapper, and Hag. Definitely recommend on, on Trapper and Hag. Obviously, you get way more time at the start of the trial to set up your traps, which is lucrative. Really fucking lucrative, actually. But yeah, that's what I rate it at. I use it a lot, and I fuck with the perk. And uh, yeah, let's move to the uh, third perk. So the third perk is called Enduring. This is the Hillbilly teachable perk. So um, the duration of pallet stuns is reduced by at level 1, 40%, level 2, 45%, at level 3, 50%. So would I rate this perk out of 10? Probably a, um, probably maybe a 5 as well, um, as balanced landing, probably a 5. Um, that may seem a bit underrated or overrated to you guys, but I don't think this perk's the best. And I would have rated it higher if they didn't nerf it a few months back. If you didn't realize, it used to be 75% at level 3 duration. And uh, not only that, it was used kind of used in a way, count the um, DS and head on um, by stunts. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely not as good as it used to be, that's why I rate it 5, but if it was definitely the old one, I probably would have rated it like a 7. As I said, my opinion as well. But yeah, um, this was on the shrine last week as well, if you didn't notice. If you didn't see, this was on the shrine last week. I don't know why it's on here again, but fuck it, whatever. So yeah, let's move, to the, uh, let's move on to the 4th and final perk. So, the 4th and final perk is called Red Herring. This is Serena's teachable perk. So what this perk does... After repairing a generator for at least 3 seconds, it will be highlighted to you with a yellow aura. The generator stays highlighted until it, um, until it is fully repaired or you um, repair a new generator or even enter a locker. Entering any locker will trigger a loud noise indicator, which is an explosion by the way, the notification, for the killer at the highlighted uh, generator location. Red Heron can only be triggered once every 60 seconds at level 1. 50 seconds at level 2 at level 3 40 seconds so would I rate this perk out of 10? maybe a 5.5 .5 or 6 um, I know it's a bit high for a Mimi perk 
but I guess I guess red herring isn't that bad. I've used it before. It's good and it definitely can trick killers even at the highest ranks. Even killer mains, it can just catch you off guard like that. Um, you could do it mid chase where you like say for example your friends in a chase and you want the killers to fucking tunnel on them or something like that. Um, a generator right near them if it explodes they're probably gonna go to it if they know if they're a high rank killer and they know when to stop chasing. So yeah, it can save people in good um, good situations and obviously distract the killer from the gameplay, which will obviously help you with survival. So yeah, let's move to the final thing of today's video, which is one perk I recommend you guys buy off the shrine. So the one perk I recommend you guys buy off the shrine for the 4th of November 2020 is obviously corrupt intervention. Um, it's obvious it was corrupt, especially how much I use it. And I promise you guys now, if you buy this, it's going to help you out, especially if you're playing Trapper and Hag. And it can give you extra time at the start of the trial. It can obviously it'll help you, especially if you're a learning killer and you need more time to learn in that sense definitely um, use corrupt and buy it if you don't have it yet but let's say you already own corrupt I recommend buying uh, red herring or even enduring <laughs> I don't think any of these are bad I think this is a pretty good shrine but I don't know why enduring's on there again a bit weird but yeah uh, corrupt is a go to <laughs> in my opinion but yeah that's the end of the video remember this, these are complete in my opinion is all the ratings Hope you guys can understand that. Let me know in the comment section below where you rate this shrine and these parks in general. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week on the next shrine. And yeah, peace.